three, two, one. Through their spirit of collaboration and many years of building partnerships, many goals and improvements are now taking shape for the Lower Elwha Kalalam tribe. Past and present tribal members are creating a period of transformation as numerous major construction projects are nearing completion. A federally funded $16.4 million state-of-the-art fish hatchery is poised to play a significant role in restoring nearly extinct salmon runs to the Elwha River and its people. And it's just a beautiful, a beautiful river, except it's missing salmon. And having salmon come back is gonna make it a, a complete place for, for us to enjoy. And I look forward to the, the day where I, I can see Chinook and Steelhead and Coho spawning, where 20 years ago there were none of those salmon species represented. Finishing touches are being made to the tribe's new emergency evacuation route. In the event of a natural disaster, the transition from tribal land will happen quickly. Families will soon move into eco-friendly homes above the floodplain, built with assistance from low-income housing tax credits and American recovery and reinvestment funding. I saw an opportunity with the low-income housing tax credit program through the state to uh, build 20 houses at one time. We have a, a large waiting list currently. Most of the tribe is youth, so we have a lot more families coming up. And we've developed 49 lots here. We've only built 20 homes, so we do have more plans. In July of 2010, a celebration was held honoring the opening of the Lower Elwha Kalalam Tribes Heritage Center. It feels really good. You know, when you, any time that you, you start with something very rough and you come out with a finished project that looks this nice, you can't help but be proud of, of the work that's gone into it um, by everybody involved. It's something to be very proud of, not just for our tribe, but for the city in general, because this is a start of something big for the city. The Multipurpose Tribal Heritage Center it's home to conference and meeting rooms, a computer lab, kitchen, retail shop, and the tribe's TANF program. It was a process that we knew that we needed to start working on for the future generations to help them get job ready, to be prepared for a job um, once they either they're off the TANF program or that they're, they're going to uh, the high school and graduate. We want to teach our members in our community to become self-sufficient, to be able to support themselves, to better their lives, and we want to be a part of that. Anybody can be whatever they want to be, as long as they have someone to support them, and that's what we're going to do, is give them that chance to prove to themselves that what they have inside them can really come out, and we're going to be just there to hold them up and do whatever they want to do whatever they want to be. With their eyes looking forward and their heads held high, the Lower Elwha Kalalam, the strong people, continue to build a better future for future generations. They're strengthening their connections by reaching out and sharing their stories, goals, and culture with the Port Angeles community and the region. For Northwest Indian News, I'm Wayne Messer.